Toki or took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogulu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. Weird. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Hmm. Why did you come back to us? I could tell you all missed me something <laughs> awful. We didn't. Yes, we did. At all. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. <laughs> I am not a con artist! I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! Such an icy stare could freeze fire! And you don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. <laughs> what is it, Lafayette? Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I pity Mogilu. Oh, come <laughs> on! <laughs> uh. She's very loud, and I easily overheard her last time talking to her friend, saying she only comes to this floor to talk with. Her friend, clearly holding contempt for everyone on my floor for no re Okay. You initiate battle by making contact with an enemy on the field from behind. You will begin an advantageous encounter where you start with one extra soul and enemies st start with less HP. However, if the enemy hits you from behind, you will be forced to fight a back attack encounter where you have the disadvantage of starting with one fewer soul. Contacting with two or more enemies at the same time while on the field will initiate a perilous encounter, which is the following effects. Enemy levels increase, HP restoration reduced to one fourth. Fleeing takes four times as long. Enemy reinforcements will join the battle. Enemies will attack more frequently. While these fights can be risky, they offer greater item drops and more grade. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you're coming too? So I have a feeling that uh, Magi Lu is going to join us after her familiar shows up. Oh, right. Or I forget. Take a look at this. Ooh. Yikes. This recipe looks real tasty. Oh. Scout ship setting sail. I did get to, I did, I did in fact get tuna. All right. Fresh fish pirate platter. Fills soul gauge completely from 30 or more hits. Okay. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Come 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's lure let's lure as many enemies together as we possibly can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Uh oh. Some mistakes have been made. Oh, his is a counter. Okay. Deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? Excuse me. I took a bite of a snack. At the beginning of each battle, each character gains an amount of break gauge based on the total number of stars gained through repeated art usage across all that character's arts provides an incentive to use every art available by gaining proficiency with all of the character's arts you can recover upwards of one break gauge for every battle right advantageous encounters double back uh break gauge restoration while back attack encounters nullify it entirely okay Knowing when to use Rokuru's multiple hit martial arts and his broad selection of elemental hidden arts is the key to making the most of his abilities. He has no non-element hidden arts, which makes martial arts his best bet against enemies weak to non-element attacks. There we go. We're finished here. Let's go. Ooh, comfy. It's more comfy. Stone chip. So how is everybody else doing doing tonight other than the whole um unpleasant neighbor situation? Wow. Those walls. They're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? 
You've been here before, right? I have. But back then... I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malachim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire, and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. Was that Earth. supposed to be a joke? Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, that was the wrong button. What are they weak to? Marshall, okay. Come on, really? An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. <laughs> Your face is all stiff. I know. Uh oh. <laughs> they got found out. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, um. Well, your travel permit from the Abbey. Where is it? Girl, how many times have I told you a magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin? Magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as Magilu's Menagerie. Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the Dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to. Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. You, you, you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer <laughs> actually prepared. It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. <laughs> cool, cool. Remember, Muggy Lou's Menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. Hey, you can't add amazing. Here. <laughs> As you say. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Mogilu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Coo coo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze. Coo coo. 
Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the Capitol's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the Capitol? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the Capitol. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's velvet. Uh oh. PTSD moment. Hello. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? What happened to the king? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius's side. She's still obsessing, but that's her thing. Hey, this massive length of peace was bought with the life of one child. Counterpoint, only one. Um, I know that's like extremely jaded to say and also a bit cringe. However, peace is peace. And as much as we love Lafayette, like, Politics is messy. What do you have to say? The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exorcising evil. Yeah, the Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? Well, for a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The High Priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The Prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the Demon Blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgand Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, and its ray of hope. Well, wow, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. Yeah, it, it's it's shitty when pragmatism has the upper hand. But, like, one thing to keep in mind that what Arthur did was bad. The only reason that it seems okay or right is because something good came of it. And, like, that opens up a whole new can of worms to doing shitty things for the sake of the greater good. Because, you know, uh, what's what's about 60 million eggs to make an omelet? Like... I 
That kind of thing seems quite suspicious, though. Give all the power of every single powerful official to this one guy. Yeah, like... Very fascistic. I don't like it. It is jam-packed for the ceremony. Imagine all the good places are already taken. Seriously? Oh, I knew I should have camped out on a spot all night. Be gone. The Praetor is observing the exercises. Or is it the Praetor you have business with, perhaps? Okay. Okay, so I can go around, I just can't go through. You're locked off. Okay. Oh, almost missed you. Mommy, when's the prince gonna talk? The exorcists are coming too, right? I'm sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about the Abbey. I want to see the exorcists! We need to thank them for saving us from the demons! You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude and help them however we can. Yeah! I'll follow the rules, too. I won't be selfish. They sure are popular. Because these people don't know the truth. You think that's so? That the exorcists are fighting the demons they themselves cannot. That's why the people support the exorcists. Yeah. What do you have to say? Ceremony will soon begin at the castle plaza. Listen attentively and behave in an orderly manner. I can promise one of those things. Oh. Hold on. I almost missed it back here. Ooh. Calcite garment. Ooh, more break soul. Hmm. Covers 25% of the damage you take? Do I have any absorb skills? No, the standard is, is still the best for right now. Chipped coin. Oh, what do you got? <laughs> Nothing. So what's the point of them if they're just not going to give me anything? Oh. Almost missed you. They're a collect over time with thresholds for rewards? Okay. Mid Gand, 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 Mid Gand. The Royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. Is that Professor His Utonium? Majesty, my father and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. 
After the opening, ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon blight. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius Colbrand! Artorius! are unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperiums, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachi. But he's a murderer! <laughs> Texas hold the Lafay set! Be careful! There's falling hose! And reason is what binds us. <laughs> but you killed him. You took everything that I loved. <laughs> so raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work. To the savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him our shepherd. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd I believe the vendetta being her downfall is is kind of the point. Was his hair white or blonde before? Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. You're the one who murdered. <sighs> Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Lafayette. What? <laughs> the Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! <laughs> if our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen. Do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. 
A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Uh. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. <laughs> Holy bottle. Aha! Harness silver coin. Still have very little idea of what those are for. Up, oh, expedition. Take a look at this. How'd they do? Oh. That's sad. But hey, I got stuff. Sea monster matter. Hey, Scout ship setting sail. Run right ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Sort of will and reason. Sure, it'll work, work against the demons. It'll also turn anyone who obsessed their order. Down on that. Dude, if the kid's hungry, get him some dang food and stay and just saying, hey, it means you're alive. Aw, oh, man, I'm starving. I could eat a horse. That's Shepherd, rough, buddy. Savior of mankind who guides us through the darkness. What an appropriate title for Lord Artorius. I believe in him. As long as we have Shepherd Artorius, we'll make it through this era of disaster. Shepherd Artorius? How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized control of all religious and secular power in Midgant. But now that he's taken on this new title, he's no longer just an authority figure. He's become the very hope of the masses. A dangerous opponent indeed. After seeing that, will you still fight him? Of course I will. He could be a god for all I care. I'll have my vengeance. No matter what. Big oof, let me send you a mood meme. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. Here's a picture of a sad frog. Artorius's speech was so wonderful. Ouch, not even worthy of the sad kitten. Through. I was so worried when the demons appeared. I am so glad I put my faith in the Abbey. The exorcists put their lives on the line to protect us. We've got to do what we can to help. I want to marry the shepherd when I grow up. Now that's popularity. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Items. Oh, God. I don't have room to carry them all. Oh, my God. That's frustrating. Let me in. They're just for selling? The exorcists sure were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? Nah, that's not his style. But I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. 
Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the Shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. <laughs> and I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. And yeah, it's some medicine cathedral music, but hey, that's Catholics for you. Oh, God damn it. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done. Yes, confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here, quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's... About how I figured it'd go. What does he have to say? Help! Exorcists! <laughs> oh boy. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches, the mathematical logic, the structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Yeah, I have a feeling I'll be coming back here. Pretty wild of Velvet to just be like, hey, I killed people. What do you think of that? Mm, bitch. <laughs> Ooh.
Life bottle. Alright, I'll go sell the damn things. <laughs> See chest, monkey neuron activate. I mean, hey, it was pretty much the same for that priest. Man saw Velvet's outfit and just yelled whore at the top of his lungs. Just like the Catholics. Uh. All right. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any use for them. They're just... Yeah, the coin collection begins again. Yep. All in a day's work. For the old Tufty. Hello, horse. Oh, wait. I forgot to check out for a new outfit. Okay. <laughs>